knock, knock, knock. Wake up, sleepyhead. I'm coming in. Oh, so you are awake. Fantastic. So, it's your first day of school. How exciting. Turn around. Why are you being so shy? Oh. I see you tried putting on some makeup today. I love it. And let me take a drink of my coffee. Well, somebody hasn't been reading the Avon Beauty Bible. But that's okay. That's okay. I started my makeup journey with a lot of beauty blunders, and I, I see a lot of those. Um, so, what was the look that you were going for? I can see that. Okay. tell you what. I admire your creativity and I admire your gusto to, you know, try to emulate your mother, but you've always been more of your father's daughter. So, uh, I'm just gonna go grab a couple of things and try to fix this little mishap. I want your first day to be absolutely magical, okay? And it will be, I promise. Oh, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I won't be late for work. Okay. Just, just one second. Okay, so I've gathered a couple of things. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is just cleansing that beautiful palette of yours and just starting nice and fresh. Mm, okay, sweetie. Okay. So let me get one of my Swispers. These cotton rounds come in handy. Yes, they sure do. So who's going to be giving you a ride to school? Carson. Is that the one with the beat up Toyota Corolla? Hmm. Okay. Well. Hmm. Oh, nothing. I'm just surprised he has a license at all. Hmm. First things first, I'm using this toner. This is the Avon Moisture Secret Enriched Freshener with PMB. PMB is the Protein Derivative Moisturizing Blend. Yes. So it says Moisten Cotton Smooth Briskly Over Face and throat, neck. Yes. Well, remember to wear your seatbelt. And straight to school. Okay. Now, what I love about this toner is that 
it doesn't strip away your moisture so it still leaves you nice and hydrated, okay darling? Okay. Down your nose, down your nose, and your chin, 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 your chin, chin, chin. There you go, sweetie. Okay. Absolutely perfect. Yes, this takes a bunch of gunk out. All the layers, all the layers that you applied today, which seem like a hundred layers on your face, but we cleaned you up real nice. Okay, now I am going to be moisturizing your face as well. So I have this Avon Moisture Secret. There's no secret that this is moisturizing. This is the Enriched Daytime Moisturizer, also with PMB, the Protein Derivative Moisturizing Blend. Who knows what that really means, but it works, and that's all that matters. So let me just squeeze some out. the sides of your nose, around your mouth, but not on your mouth, around your mouth, but not on your mouth, and your chin. So I must say that your skin is looking absolutely amazing as is. But I know that you want to do something a little extra special today with some makeup, so we will do that the right way, of course. So tell me, what are you most excited about in terms of classes this year? Physics, calculus, what are the kids learning?
fascinating oceanology. I love that for you. Yes, you've always been a fan of the ocean. I myself can't swim, but I've always admired that about you. You are such an amazing swimmer. Okay, so I have some good news, some exciting news. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little extra dolled up today because we have an exciting launch. Yes, so Eva came out with this amazing candid collection and I thought that we could try it on you today. The colors are absolutely amazing. Yes. We are heading towards fall and I find that these colors are very fall appropriate without being too much. So, this is a five piece collection. We have the foundation, the blush, the lipstick, we have the mascara, and another more hydrating lipstick similar to a lip gloss, but you will see that in just a moment. Mm. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm so used to selling to people, so I sound very saleswomanly. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just excited. So today, I will be demonstrating that collection on a lot of the other Avon representatives. I got the first sneak peek. Okay, so let's see. Let's start off with your complexion. We're not going to do anything too crazy with the eyes. Do you want any color on your eyes? Okay, you have a couple of eyeshadows that you want to try out from your own little makeup collection. Okay. Let's start out with the foundation. So this is the beautiful foundation. It comes in a glass bottle. Gold cap. At the very top, you see C for Candid and A for Avon. And this is in the shade Country. Now, when picking a foundation, sweetie, you have to make sure that you match with the undertone. So, some people have a more olive undertone, some people have more of a golden undertone, red undertone, pink undertone, the sky's the limit. But the spectrum could be broken down into neutral, pink, and yellow. And of course, everything in between. But for the most part, that seems to do the trick. But, of course, there are exceptions. Now, this here, I think will match you really, really well. Because you have a neutral leaning towards the pink side. So, let's see. Yes. This is going to be great. So. Let's see here. So we want to use small amounts. Blend with a long, even stroke. Long, even strokes. Long, even strokes. Sounds good. So, I'm just going to shake this. Because the pigments can separate over time. Which is completely natural. Let me go ahead and get my little 
little mixing palette and just get a little bit like that that may be just enough and then I have this little sponge applicator so I'm just going to start dotting this all over your face, okay? So, one little dot here up at the top three dots here Before you were looking like a zombie. Oh, it was much too gray. Much too gray. But now you look. doesn't slip and slide. But of course, it really shouldn't since all you'll be doing is studying. say that this shade is a bit neutral as well. So, just sprinkling this on to 
Using my brush. It's one of my little samples that I use. And just dust this all over your beautiful lightly mattifies the face but without creating any creepiness or enhancing any of those fine lines but you're much too young for lines Excellent and now So let me just pop this out. So here is the blusher. So how do you like the color? Yes, it does lean towards the more deeper side. It is a bit more neutral though. And I do find that this is a nice color all year round because it's not a pink, it's not a purple. It's very much in the middle of both of those colors. So, yes, you can get away with using it all year round, which is really nice. So, I love the packaging, love this U shape or horseshoe shape, as I like to call it. And it has the C and the A in gold for Candid and Avon. And this is called the Spiced Cider Cheek Color. This is a cream powder formula. So, at first touch, this does seem to be a bit more creamier and emollient, but as it hits the cheeks, it does turn into a much more powdery, softer finish. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Just grabbing a little bit of color. That's perfect. And I'm just going to gently apply this to your cheeks and I will build the color if need be. Now I'm going to apply this a bit higher up. And I like to do this when I'm not Applying any bronzer, and I'm just focusing on the blush because putting the blusher higher up enhances your cheekbones and elongates your face, slims your face a bit more, and provides a bit of contouring without using any bronzing products. So, a blusher, especially in this color, can do a lot. It's kind of a multitasker because it does have a sort of bronzy, mauve kind of color to it. So just gently In an upright motion, just dabbing, 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 dabbing. In an upright motion. That looks really, really nice. So now, we are going to 
move on to eyes. So, what shadows do you want to use? Okay. Oh, yes, I see them here. You purchased some eyeshadows from CoverGirl. And this one's a nice one. So this is Sterling Blue from CoverGirl. Very pretty. Hmm, very pigmented. Love the sheen. Okay, so I will place this on the lid. What else do you have? Oh, this little trio. Okay, so I'll just apply this onto the crease and the blue on the lid. Sounds good. Okay. So I have a couple of brushes here. Let's start out by using this lightest shade. Okay. With this fluffy shader brush, just close your eyes. I'm just going So did you see what I did there? I went ahead with a shadow brush and I applied a lighter skin tone shade all over your lid, okay? And up into the brow bone as your base. And now we are going to use a more fluffier brush and apply this color onto the crease, okay? This is a bit more deep. Just close your eyes. So right into that socket and just blend, 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 blend in uh, wiper motions. Blend, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Blend, 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 blend. And on the other eye. same brush because we can do a lot of things with just one brush. I'm taking this much deeper shade and applying this onto the crease but only the outer end of the crease and into the outer edge of your lid. Okay, so here we go. This will just slightly enhance your eyes. You still want to look like yourself today. Yes. You don't want the teacher to put you as absent. <laughs> Thinking that you're somebody else. No, no, no. Now, we got all of our neutral colors, our browns, our golds on the lid, and now we're going to go in with a pop of color, 
and I do like the color that you chose because it's not super super bold but it's a little something so you know I love my color and I love my shimmer yes I do so just close your eyes and I'm just packing this onto the lid it onto the lid and blending, blending, blending. I like the shape of this applicator because it comes to a point so I can get into the inner corner because I want some of that shimmer to follow all the way down to the inner corner there. Yes. And on this side is very brightening as well. Okay. So just packing, 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 and blending, 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 and just placing this in the inner corner. Okay. That looks really, really good. Now, to complete the look, you want to apply some color to your lower lash line. So I'm just going to take a mixture of these two and just apply this to your lower lash line. So look up and just lightly smoke this out a bit. looks really really good. I could have swore that this was a lip gloss but in fact this is an eye color so I'm actually going to apply this to the lower lash line and this is the terracotta eye color. Good thing that I tried this out before actually demonstrating this as a lip gloss. That would have been Big upsie. Okay, so I'm just going to okay, just place this underneath your lower lash line. Okay. Very gently. How do you feel about this plastic applicator? No. Yeah, I wish that this was more of a brush. But it looks very, very pretty. I am going to take a brush though and just blend this out a bit. Now, since this color is like a terracotta, rusty, kind of orangey, warm shade, this will pair really nicely with the blush as well as lipstick, which you will see in just a moment here. But wow, that really ties things together. I love that. Yeah, I was going for like a blue coral moment. And you're going for, yes, a similar kind of look as well. Great minds think alike. This is the Candid Basic Black Mascara. This does have lash builders. So they're little, 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 tiny fibers. Okay. When you wash off the mascara at the end of the day, you will notice the tiny little fibers. Yes, they will just wash off in little clumps. Very interesting. Look up and just blink, 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 blink. 
looks really, really nice. Yes, you are blessed with length and volume already. Mm, just like your daddy. Big, beautiful lashes. Me, not so much. So this really amplifies your lashes. They're almost touching your lids. Let's not get any mascara on your lids. Okay, so your lower lashes. Burnished Rose. Ba -da -boom. It almost looks like the color that I have on my lips, but this color is a bit more brighter, you know. Have to match the lips with the dips. Yes, sweetie. That is one of the best tips I could ever give you. It changes the game. It really does. Let me swatch this for you. So how do you feel about that? Great. Okay, so bugger up. And just apply this to the tops of your lips. The tops, the tops, the tops of your lips. And then the bottom of your lips. Do you love it? You have a beautiful lip line. You don't even need lip liner. Lucky, lucky, lucky you. Okay, so what do you want for breakfast? Anything. Chocolate chip pancakes with scrambled eggs. And toast. And bacon. Certainly up for the challenge. <laughs> Do you want coffee too? Oh, well, you're a coffee drinker now. Well, well, well. <laughs> okay, well, how about you get dressed? No, you're not gonna wear that. Mm -mm. No, that looks like a Halloween costume. Much too short. Not gonna do it. No. Yeah, try something else. Yeah, how about that black blouse? Yes, with the polka dots. And then you can wear your slacks and a cardigan. You're not going to look like a granny, especially with the makeup that you're wearing. Okay, you figure it out, but not that skirt. No, no, no. Daddy already left for work, but, uh, yeah, it has to go through me, and, uh, it is not approved. But good try, though. You do know that I was young once. Yeah. Okay, you get ready. I will make your breakfast. And we both have to head off. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. If you want me to do your makeup every day, hey, I'm here. 